Hello and welcome to Fun in the Kitchen with Raw Foods, where we make delicious recipes using plant-based foods. My name is Giselle Turi, and today we're going to make a fruit salad. Very simple. We've got a banana, orange, and an apple. I'm not going to peel the apple, but this one is organic. If it's not organic, I would suggest peeling it first. So, um, go ahead and cut that up. And there's several things that you can add to this salad. We're just, I'm going to show you the base of what I use. Of course, you can use any kind of uh, fruit in this. But for today, we're just going to use these. This is actually a gala. Uh, Fuji's are really nice too. They're slightly sweet as are galas. Also very crispy and juicy. Um, if you prefer a sweeter apple, the Red Delicious are extremely sweet. So that would um, give you a little more sweetness to it. So I'm just going to take this one apple and, and cut it up. Okay. Now, of course, a fruit salad, you can use it any time. You can use it as a breakfast. You can use it as a snack. Um, okay. And there again, if you're not using organic, I would suggest either peeling it or you could give it um, a bath, like you can use there's um, soaks, you know, especially for vegetables and fruits to wash it, or you can even do like an apple cider vinegar bath, which is a couple teaspoons of apple cider vinegar and water, and then soak the fruit or vegetable in the water, and, and then that helps to uh, clean off the, you know, any residual pesticides that might be on it. Okay, so we have our apple. And... Okay, now I like to keep some of the white on there, the pith, and what I'm referring to is this white right here, because that's got, it's very high in nutrition, very good for you. A lot of bioflavonoids and oranges, and of course vitamin C, um, so, but I like to have a lot of that pith on there, because it's so good for you. I want to leave a little bit on there. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll actually put a little bit of a coating of this um, by using a little bit of almond milk. You could also use coconut milk on it. Um, just a little bit, just to kind of coat it and um, kind of adds kind of a creaminess to it. You can also use uh, coconut cream. And coconut cream is gonna, there again, make it creamier and also make it more of a, a tropical um, fruit salad. I'm just gonna cut these up in little bite-sized pieces. Got a little peeling on here. Just gonna get that off. Okay. All right. And then, depending on how much you want, this will just make about. That's to make about um, mm, three or four servings. So it depends on how many people you plan on serving. And of course, a fruit salad can keep in the refrigerator. And you can have it for several meals, so it'll keep a couple of days. Okay, so I have orange, apple, and then the banana. And I like to add. Um, some raisins to it. You can also do dried cranberries. That's a really nice touch. 
Or you can actually do also like um, dried cherries. That's also really good in it. So I'm just going to break some of this up and just just kind of sprinkle some in there. I'm not really measuring it. It depends on how you know how well you like raisins or whatever fruit you're using, and then you can just mix some of that in there, however much you want. Okay, so there's that. Then I also like to add. Um, these are walnuts. You can do pecans or uh, chopped up almonds in it. But for today's recipe, we're going to use some walnuts. So they're kind of big, so I'm just going to chop them up a little bit. Not too fine, just, just a little bit smaller. Some other additions you can put in this is cacao nibs. And what that is is the actual um, bean, the chocolate bean or cacao bean chopped up in small pieces. So it's like, it's kind of like a raw version of chocolate chips. So cacao nibs, you can put that in there as well. Okay, and then what I like to do, I was saying earlier, I will add a little bit of, today I'm using almond milk. So about a teaspoon, about a teaspoon, you know, a teaspoon or two, uh, either almond milk, coconut milk, or um, coconut cream. Now, coconut cream, you can get it in a, in a can, and if you let it sit, it's going to separate. So you're going to have the coconut water and the cream. And what you want to do at that point is you want to take a spoon and skim off the cream if you want it if you want it creamier and then that's what you would use otherwise if you want a little more liquidy then you would just mix the cream in with the coconut water and then like a teaspoon or two of that also like to add just a little bit of sweetener honey i mean um, food's already naturally sweet but if you want to add a little more and this is optional just use a little bit of honey or agave or maple syrup, so about a teaspoon there. And there again, it's optional depending on how sweet you want it. I also like to add a little bit of vanilla extract. And this is pure vanilla extract. Um, please use the pure instead of the um, imitation, okay? You wanna go as real as you can because a lot of these other foods, the way they're processed, I mean, it's just not that, that good for you. So there again, and I'm not actually measuring, I'm going to say about a teaspoon of vanilla. Very carefully so I don't make a dump too much in there, then it'll be very vanilla-y. So you can either use a liquid, you know, like this, the actual, um, the real pure vanilla, or you can take the vanilla bean and split it up and with a knife and then uh, use some of the little seeds inside and put it in there. Okay, so... Here we've got banana, orange, apple, uh, I've got raisins in there. Um, there again, you can use dried cranberries, you can use dried cherries, you can add cacao nibs to it, and then I use chopped walnuts, you can use pecans or chopped almonds in there. Um, let's see. So there you go, it's just very simple, very easy very quick and see that's about I'd say that's about four servings and that'll keep in the refrigerator for about two days you don't want to leave it in there too long because the bananas will turn okay so there you have it so very simple recipe something quick something that's in the refrigerator you can go to and grab that's healthy and it's satisfying and load it with vitamins and minerals and full nutrition because it's, it hasn't been heated. And um, so that's today's recipe. And if you would like to know more, more recipes and tips and ideas on how to incorporate more raw living foods into your diet, then if you go to amazon.com, and this book is Delicious Raw Food Recipes for Beauty and Usefulness. It actually has a breakdown of the different nutritional value of the different ingredients and the food and how it contributes to uh, a more useful appearance and more energy in your life. So there again, it's delicious raw food recipes for beauty and usefulness. I am Giselle Turi. Thank you for joining me and fun in the kitchen with raw foods. And have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.